Bank of Britain. And your Epsleet United! And good afternoon and welcome to Stonebridge Road for today's National League game, which sees Epsleet United entertain Dagenham and Redbridge. So much riding on this game. This is Charles Webster for BBC Radio Kent to bring you a commentary from the match itself and then re reaction as the players and management digest the activities of the 90 minutes. So for this game, uh, Dagenham are making three changes from their 3-1 home defeat to Boreham Wood. Uh, and that means out of the side go Aidan Francis-Clark, Sam Ling and uh, Miles Weston, the former Ebsleet and Gillingham player. Uh, replacing them are Lewis Page, Harry Phipps and Freddie Sears. Uh, they are 19th in the table with 16 points. Just ahead of them, one third of it by Dagenham supporters, about 150 or so of them here today. And Ebsleet in their red shirts, white shorts, red socks. Failed to breach the fleet defence this afternoon. O'Neill with a header to Amu. Now Polion. Polion gets away from his marker, gets away from another challenge. P Polion inside. It's for Nemo. Oh, and he's robbed. That was a great challenge coming in. Four wins this season. And there's a great header coming in. It goes over the bar. Effion out on the touchline. Effion doing well to get it forward. And turned away. Hessenthaler. Now Sterling James carries the ball from the left wing. Stops. To Fanimo. Fanimo crisply to Domi. Domi a shot away. And that's taken more passionate action later. And that was a dreadful challenge. Hessenthaler really uh, coming in heavy from behind. The referee having the conversation and Hesson Salada and there is the half-time whistle they go in at the break with the scoreline blank it's half-time goalless here at Stonebridge Road and we'll be back in about 15 minutes until then bye for now and it's Dagenham in blue and white hooped shirts blue shorts and blue socks against Epsley who are wearing their red shirts, white shorts, the right hand side and it's going to be a problem for Epsley. It's going to be there, oh surely that should have been put in the back of the net, hugging the touchline. O'Neill infield to Franklin Domi. Fleet fans calling for a handball against Easton but I think he took it in his chest. O'Neill gets the ball to Tanner bit more excitement in the crowd. Tanner goes left. Here's Polion. Polion in the box. And it's going to be another corner to Ebsley. Hoops the ball across field. Effiong is there. It's going to be a shot coming in. Oh, and that whistled past the post. Oh, and there's a ball through. It's a run. Here's Sterling James. Sterling James cuts it back. Polion. Oh, and it's saved. The best effort of the game for Ebsley. Polion, Polion outside the area to Chapman, Chapman right hand side, the ball played across and it actually went behind Candle. O'Neill getting into the area, he's got Johnson ahead of him to Chapman, out for a corner, the near post to collect. Long ball forward, it's going to bounce over Johnson, Johnson goes to ground. Napoleon is judged to have committed a foul. Johnson, well, Justin comes out of goal and uh, in. Bodies coming forward, bodies are going long. And a marvellous save by Cousins. And it was Long King, the substitute. O'Neill gathers pace. Napoleon, edge of the box, back to Domi. Domi shoots. Oh, Justin went down. He took it, it slightly rolled away from him, but time added on. Here comes the corner. Men underneath it. Oh, and this effort goes wide back out to the far side. It's going to be swung in again. The ball bouncing around. And it's there. Oh, it's, it's there. Dagenham have scored. My goodness, and who's got the goal? Dagenham sees it in time added on. Dagenham get the winner and it's more than he originally allocated and there goes the whistle that's it it's all over 
Epsleet have gone down by a goal to nil. And here at Stonebridge Road, Epsleet's October has ended in defeat. It's bye for now from Stonebridge Road with the news that it's Epsleet nil, Dagenham and Redbridge 1.